kind of nice one. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Euros vlog. It is day four of the European Championship here in Rome. We've got the venue behind us, beautiful venue. The brown belt males will be competing. Obviously some names like Hyron Gracie will be in the mix. Ultimately, everything's gonna end with the brown belt absolute. I'm excited, hope you guys are too. Let's go see how it plays out. So we're headed out from the venue now. We're actually going a little closer into Rome uh, to meet up with Isaac Doderlein. We're gonna have a coffee with him, see how he's kind of been enjoying the Roman life for a little bit. Don't be Americano, very necessary at this point. The next guy we hire at Flow is gonna be shorter than me. That's also a new rule. Excited to see you, Isaac. You know, he had an incredible year last year. He's looking to kick things off strong in 2022. Curious what he has to say about his upcoming opponents and you know, maybe what he can uh, have in store for us the rest of the year. It's gonna be fun. All right, so we may have went to the wrong address to meet Isaac, so we're going back to the car now, and then we're gonna go meet Isaac and talk to him. So we did, uh, I trained, was it was it yesterday morning? We trained. We trained. There's like dude, the level's pretty good, man. The level's nice, good. Nice. Like we rolled some good black belts over there. Um, I don't think a lot of people were visiting, but Luke has been. He's been super cool. I generally like to train at a good normal pace up until Thursday. So let's say if I'm fighting Saturday, I like to train up until Thursday, pretty uh, pretty hard, good pace. Um, I feel like some people they'll try to just do like kind of more flow rolling. And I think that that's good if like you're warming up or like day of or day before. But like if, if it's two, if it's like the week of or like two three days out, I feel like sometimes you can get like an unrealistic expectation of what jujitsu is. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So then you start, so you start to like everything starts to work, and then all of a sudden you go into competition, and now you have this like confidence of like, oh, I can do whatever move I want, and it's gonna work. I'm so excited to be back. Europeans has always been one of my favorite competitions. I think I made a big uh, yearly routine coming out here since I've come out here every year since 2013. Wow. So, yeah, since 2013 I've come out consistently. So that's what, nine years? This is my ninth year doing Europeans. And it has a special place in my heart, man, when it comes to the, the energy, the environment. It just, it just there's a certain energy that, that's fun to come, it's fun to start the year with. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. All right, so we just finished up talking to Isaac. 
But listen, we got a couple hot dates tonight. Who, who are we gonna go meet up with tonight? We're gonna run over, catch the absolute. That's gonna be hype. And then yeah, we're gonna hopefully, if all stars align, meet up with Tommy uh, Langacker and Espen Matiasim, get some dinner. Should be a good time. It was great talking to Isaac. Excited to go see how this absolute's going though. Mantendo desconfortável e boa! Trinta segundos! Vou botar pressão agora, Rainão! Cola, cola que vai! Cola que vai! Man, so happy, so happy. I've been, I've been training very hard, very hard. Uh, I want to thank to my all my teammates, uh, my sponsor, everybody that helped me a lot. Uh, in my gym, there are many uh, heavy guys, so I was ready. Thanks a lot, guys. We gotta go meet Espen, maybe Tommy. Go have dinner with those guys. So we'll see you guys there. So, We're trying to wait around for the absolute chance to do uh, the medal shot and the interview. Yeah. Yes. It's so good so far. We went into the city um, on Sunday. Going for like these um, beefs, and they've been pretty good. Nice. So, so what's the uh, the gym training at now? Is it something you opened or another place? No, no, no. It's like uh, like a small academy. It's called Kimura Eggerson. Yeah. And the coach there is Dalma Nasi, and it's just like a small group. That's where I started training. And I trained at that academy until I was like a brown belt. Then I moved to Hokusun and yeah, now I came back. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So they're yeah. coming into Europeans and feeling pretty good like, in, in the group. I don't mind too much. Like I wish I had competed more, but in my mind I doesn't care too much. I feel, I feel comfortable, so at least what it is. Espen, did you pick the most American restaurant you could find? Exactly. I want you to feel welcome. <laughs> So there are some tough guys for sure. Um, so my first match, I don't really know too much about these guys. But then in my second match, I'm gonna go against Lucas from the Czechma. This guy Lucas is Portasio. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he's he's really good. He's like I feel he's like a, he enjoys scrambling and like wars. But I, I feel I have a good style against that type of uh, fighters. So but it's gonna, gonna be interesting to see how it plays out. And then in the semi, I assume it's going to be either Max or Marcel. So it's hard for me to say who's going to win that one, but either one, it's, I think it's going to be a good match. They like to pass guard, I like to play guard, so I think it's going to be good. 
and in the final it's hard for me to say who it's going to be. I think that's kind of open on that side, so regardless of who it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. This one. Yeah.